Singapore for this world record attempt. One and a half kilometre can't touch the ground. The game in which you can... Well, it's kind of in the top. Two, two, one, go. And they're off to a slow start. No man looks cooler than uh, standing in a highlighter colour with a GoPro on his head. <laughs> but they finally kick things off with a classic schoolgirl piggyback. These girls have been training for years with oversized science textbooks for this very day. And nothing says toe poor like a bunch of girls in rain jackets showing up with a tiny digger. This is amazing. And Boyce with the early lead. But Briar follows closely behind. It looks weird. And this race is still wide open. Boyce at the checkpoint bags another quick getaway. Yeah, that's good. Well done. Though the signs all point to Briar making it come. Back. I'm getting out of here. But it's not long before things go sideways for the man in orange. Get rid of him. Clear the dominoes. But he pulls it back with a deft combination of Kiwi ingenuity and complete disregard for his ability to father children. Oh! Oh! This is not fun! <laughs> the gold wants to come to tell for a up as much as possible, right? <laughs> no. How do, we, how do we feel about stealing a bike? Boyce questions the morality of bike theft for approximately two seconds before ploughing ahead. And Pryor isn't far behind and keen to show the folks his nice rack. Hello, mate. <laughs> can I jump on your back? Yeah, Not the voice I expected to come out of there. <laughs> There's some hardcore prawn going on here. And from hardcore prawn to hardcore porn. Well, Boyce relaxes into a comfortable lead. Oh, relax. Oh, sorry. Just hit you in the face. And now, with a complete disregard for the rules, he's getting a lift from his own cameraman. Make sure you get a good shot at the same time. It's a back-to-back -back piggyback attack as Pryor makes a comeback. And look out, it's wham! Bam! Thank you, Pram. I look like a giant baby, so this makes sense. Boyce thinking Thank outside you. the box and getting inside a box. Well, things aren't looking so great for Briar, and they look even worse as he starts to lose his kit, and the race as Boyce goes for the win, or does he? Hey, I've got bad news. One, you've got no clothes on and it's quite cold, but two, this isn't the first. Oh, God. They're, oh. they're saying it's out there. On their, on their pawn too, thing. And the race is back on, as for the first time in Jono and Ben history, can't touch the ground, goes nautical. Oh, there's, a, there's a canoe walker thing. I need to get to the pontoon. Can you take me? Ben, right, how's it going? Oh, shit. And Boyce leaves Pryor up a lake without a paddle. But it's not over for Pryor. Jet ski! Is it a jet? jet is it a ski? It's neither and both. Can you please help me? We got this in the bag, guys. Oh, God. It looks like Pryor's the one getting it in the bag as the finish line's in sight. Take it in! Take it in! Take it in! Paddle! Paddle! <laughs> Inconclusive. Yeah, not really too sure what happened there, but what really matters is they're stuck on a raft in the middle of Lake Topol. Are they coming back? I don't think they're coming back. Well, that's it for another year of Can't Touch the Ground. We'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. To subscribe to our channel, click on my face. I won't move it. Or you can check out some of our other videos over here. Or don't. You don't have to do what I say. But it'd be nice if they did, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be actually. Yeah, bring me a sandwich. Your sandwich, sire. That was good. <laughs> bring me a sandwich, please. Go f yourself, man. <laughs>